I don't think I can. I put in a bid for the bachelor auction. You're going on a date? Are you the luckiest one? It is not a date. And B, it's just with Griff. Dinner with him. Casillo. Yeah. He's the guy you're going on a date with. Yeah. So? Oh, no, no, no. Don't act like this is no big deal. This is not a big deal. It so is. He's a gorgeous doctor who saved your life. Okay. All right, you're right. It is a big deal. Well? I won. Oh. Wow. Hey. What I said before, you know, about this being a big deal, I didn't mean that, like, how could you want to date with someone? I meant it in a good way. I like Griffin. He seems like a decent guy, and he obviously is very protective of you. He saved your life how many times now? <laughs> well, it's kind of in his job description. He is a doctor. Are you nervous? That's normal. I mean, you don't understand what I meant when I said this wasn't a date. Yes, I bid on Griff to get closer to him. But only because I'm digging for information. Huh? Something weird is going on with him. Something, I mean, it might even be dangerous. Either way, tonight I'm going to find out what it is. Okay. All right. You have to swear you won't tell anyone about this. With all the dirt you have on me, I'd be an idiot to say a word. I was hoping more along the lines of, I'm your best friend and you can trust me. That too. All right, good. Because I have been dying to talk to somebody about this. Bianca doesn't know? Uh, not everything. I mean, she thinks so highly of Griff, so I didn't want to put this on her. She's got so much to deal with, with the divorce and the custody battle. Wow, it's really a serious. Yeah. You know how Reverend Torres works with a lot of the local kids. Well, he found out that someone has been selling them drugs, painkillers, and they traced them back to the hospital, your hospital. You don't think Griffin's dealing? I know, I know. It sounds completely ridiculous when you say it out loud, but there's something else, and you have to promise, I mean promise, that you're not going to fire Griff. <sighs> okay. Okay, I promise. Griffin's been stealing antibiotics from the hospital, and he's been shipping them overseas to clinics who really need them. But you can't afford them. Yes. Noble and wonderful. And also illegal. How do you know this? He told me. Wow, he must really trust you. Well, he was trying to get me to have surgery, and then I... It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. The point is, I feel responsible for it. Why? Zach's whole reason for selling the casinos was to do something good with the money, like expanding the Miranda Center around the world and working with Griffin. But Griff didn't have the funds because I never sold the casinos. So I kind of feel like I forced his hand at it, like I, I drove him to steal. Okay, okay, first of all, that's not true. And even if it was, what does that have to do with these other drugs on the street? Well, at first I thought nothing, but then it just it gets weirder. Okay, listen to this. Griffin went out. He, he, he spent the night somewhere. And I asked him where he was going, and he lied to me. But then he came back, and he was completely beaten up. I mean, he had bruised ribs, the works, everything. Who did that to him? He said some jealous ex-boyfriend. I don't think his story made any sense. Okay, you ready for the worst part? It gets worse? Yeah. Ricky told me this drug dealer had been beaten up the same night as Griffin. Well, did he know what the guy looked like? They didn't have a ton of details, but the ones they did have were a match. I don't know. I mean, I haven't spent that much time with Griffin. I, I don't really know him that well. Mainly because he won't let me. Greenlee, what if, what if he's in over his head? What if he's involved with the wrong people? So you're digging because you want him to be innocent? I just, I don't want this to be true. I mean, he saved my life. But you don't have feelings for the guy. Have you listened to anything I've said? Have you? Okay, you know what? This is crazy. I have to go find Chris. Right now. 
Kendall. Good luck. You make it get well. I don't want your help. I want to see my mom. I know. And I'll do whatever I can to help make that happen. I love you, Emma. We used to be buds, remember? No, not anymore. Never, ever again. Hey, what's going on? Daddy, get her away from me. You mean keep saying I can't see mommy? Well, that's, that's, that's because your, your mommy isn't allowed to see anybody yet. Creamy wants to take mommy's place, but she can't leave me. She's not my mommy. We, we know that. We know that. Anna. I just want us to be close again. Hey, when your mommy is, is better and she's allowed to see people, I promise you, I promise I'll take you to go see her, okay? Just you and me. Just you and your dad. Hey, Ems. You gotta understand that Greenlee and I are married, right? I mean, I love her. I love you. I love her. We're family. No, we're not. How's she doing? She's angry, but I think she really needs just to sit with her feelings for a little while. She blames me. I don't think she knows what else to do. I think Annie did an unbelievable number on her. I mean, I've never seen Emma like this before. But, but most importantly, we we can't let her pit us against each other, okay? Welcome to parenthood. I think you're doing great. I, th I think we're both... We're doing all right. Really? Yeah. I don't think Emma would agree. Well, bottom line is that we love her, and that doesn't mean that we give her everything that she wants, especially if we don't think it's right for her. Where were you when I was growing up? You want a pony, Greenlee? Here you go. Trip to the Swiss Alps, voila. <laughs> never mind if you never saw me ride the pony or that my nanny took me skiing. I'm sorry. Don't be. It only makes me appreciate you more. You love your daughter more than anything in the world. And that's the most incredible gift you could give her. Yes, Emma is hurt right now, and she might be for a little while. But eventually, she's going to realize that she has the most incredible, generous, loving dad. And when she realizes that, she's going to thank you for it. We're going to get through this. We are. You, me, Emma, and Spike, one big, happy family. Maybe we should get a dog. Or a pony. I mean, you actually, you, you had your own pony? Yeah. Freckles. Freckles. He was awesome. He would start galloping in circles every time he saw me coming. He would, huh? Wow. <laughs> you know, Emma asked for one every Christmas. Maybe she get lucky. Mm. Sure he is. 